Hi all, welcome to the Marquee Matchup for the 27th of January. Apologies for this being on Sunday instead of being yesterday. We've just been super busy with everything and just didn't get a chance to get this done. However, we've got a lot of games to cover this week, so hopefully it keeps you well prepared as usual. You can smash like this would be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jeez Legend. All the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links as always. Let's jump into them for this week. So the first route I'm going to suggest is Petit Xwall versus FC20. This is um, kind of one of the games in Holland that might kind of be featured and it's kind of a lesser route in terms of what you would require. Um, you're probably only going to need one player from either team so it wouldn't be too difficult to kind of buy um, one of them cheap or if you've got them packed. Four nations minimum, um, kind of maybe minimum. They might make an emphasis on Dutch players so kind of be aware of this. I'm going to say 70 overall rate, I don't think they want to make it too high if they opt for it. Um, 11 players in the squad as usual, 5 to 10k is roughly what this costs. I've noticed a lot of the pick draw players especially and FC20 are costing a little bit of coins. So keep this in mind if you want to um, build this route. 35k um, for the reward and a 6 out of 10 for likelihood. Obviously the price might be a little bit less if it is just the one player and depending what the requirements were. Um, Liverpool versus Chelsea for me is my most likely route this week. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I'm going to say about a 79, 80 overall will probably be your minimum um, expectations. You're going to need one player from both Liverpool and Chelsea to kind of cover you. 7 nations minimum, I'm going to say they're going to make quite an emphasis on this. They might also kind of focus on the uh, club emphasis as well. So, like so many clubs, maybe say like minimum of 7. Current cost just now is about 5 to 10k. Um, most of the decent rated gold are going for about 7 to 800, um, or some of them even go to about a thousand. And most of the non rare gold are going about um, five, six hundred coins. So not too cheap, but a rare gold pack could kind of be your reward. But all in all, I think this could be a very likely route. Rotherham versus Barnsley, I don't think will happen. I think they may give an EFL game, but I've still got to kind of cover it nonetheless. Um, 11 players from the league, 1 player from either team. So you could go one, either the Rotherham option or the Banjo option, whichever you prefer. 70 overall would probably be a maximum overall rate in a field, because both teams don't exactly have the highest rated players in the league. And I would assume they wouldn't try and put too much of a burden on trying to build a high rated team. So, saying on that, 35k is, would be um, current cost, or cost I would assume to build it for all this. And 35k reward, like a premium silver pack, what, like the 3.75k or whatever they're worth. Maybe something a little bit more. Uh, 5 out of 10 for a likelihood. Coventry versus Northampton, I would say it's a very likely route due to... Um, Co Coventry had to play their games a couple of years ago at six fields. Um, which is Northampton's ground, and this was due to the issues with Coventry at the time in the league. And it caused a lot of um, commotion, I think, between both teams, and as a result, it was, this has quite a good chance of being a, a route that would be thrown in on the, kind of seen as the sneaky routes, as it were. And a lot of people won't necessarily think this route will be featured, so that's why I'm mentioning this route as a likelihood. So you probably only need one player from either team, even from League 1 of course, 65 overall rate if they did this. Cost would be 3 to 5k, maybe a premium silver pack or a silver players pack would be your reward. And I'm going to say about anywhere between a 6 to 8 out of 10 for likelihood. Colchester versus Wickham for me is probably one of the less likely routes, but it's still a route that's got to be featured for the video. 60 overall rating probably is what you're going to need if they do an overall. One player from either team. Four nations minimum. They might even just kind of make it like a home nations kind of thing. Um, two to four k for their cost. Three to five k reward. Maybe like a jumbo silver pack. Kind of like an. Odd, it might give them like a quite an odd silver pack. It might even be like a rare silver pack instead of like the rare gold packs. Three out of ten, no for a likelihood. But this route for me, if it was to happen, would be wouldn't even cost me a penny because most of it, all of the bronzes would be untradeable and the silvers are packed, so I'd be kind of sorted. Melbourne Victory versus Sydney, this route could feature this week, and I would say if it does, it's got a very good chance. You probably only need one player from either team, um, A-League, 
being exactly 11. I would, I'm going to say Australian players could be given an impetus on this. So I'm going to say something like maybe a minimum of 7. This could even be a minimum of 11. Team chemistry 100, overall rating 60 should be quite realistic and it just kind of eases try to look at silvers and the golds. Might not even be no overall rating. So keep this in mind of course, but I've just if they were to focus on rating, that's what I'm suggesting. 23k for cost, 23k reward, I would say a silver player's pack would be the option and a 7 out of 10 for a likelihood. PSG versus Monaco is another likely route. Both teams are kind of fighting for the title in the league and I would say one player from both teams so I've gone for um, CDB and Areola for the respective players to keep me covered. Six nations minimum which wouldn't be too difficult. They might also focus heavily on French players, so what I've done is, to kind of cover my back, I've opted for seven French players, but made sure I've got enough nations still covered to kind of cover that base. In terms of costs, 68k is quite an expensive route, so keep this in mind, and I would say they'll give you a worthwhile pack, I'm going to say a rare gold pack, or even like a 15k pack would be the kind of pack that they would give you. Brighton versus Newcastle, both teams are top two in the championship and fighting heavily for promotion. They might go one player from both teams or they'll just give the emphasis on just one player, either it be from Newcastle or Brighton and actually achieve that objective. 11 from the championship, six nations minimum, 100 chems, I always say 100 chem just to kind of cover my back. 70 rating overall, 35k in terms of costs and 3 to 4k reward. I'm going to say like a 7.5k pack would probably be what you'd get given or might focus on like a silver based pack. 5 or 6 out of um, 10 for a likelihood, they might look at the Coventry route as a more likely option, so keep that in mind. Rend versus Nantes, um, one player from either team, I don't think they'll make it, both teams need to submit a player. French based players, I'm going to say about something like 6 or 7 could be an option, they might even go the whole team. Um, overall rating would be around 75 to 77 if they focus on this, but I hope they don't because this would it's hard enough for this kind of um, for both teams. 5 to 7k for a reward um, for cost, 4 to 6k for the reward actually. Gold push pack is one way to go for, they might just give you a decent pack just to kind of make it feel worthwhile. Obviously the gold push pack is like one rare, um, one rare gold and a likelihood out of 10 is 4 out of 10, I don't think it will happen. Ajax versus Den Haag in Holland, I would say it is not likely to happen, but it could happen. I would say this could be one of these routes where you might have no overall rating at all, but if they did it would probably be about 70 overall minimum. One player from either team, I have, and um, luckily the only Den Haag players I have are bronzes that are packed, that are um, untradeable. 11 from the league, 6 nations minimum. Um, 4 to 6k would be your cost and probably like a 5 or 7.5k pack is what you'd get. You wouldn't get something really worthwhile I feel and that's why you'd get a low reward and the likelihood is about 3 or 4 out of 10. I don't see this route happening but see what they do. Then Herevin versus Groningen, probably a less, even less likely than the Ajax route. Um, but both this both teams I think have been, um, well Herevin has been featured before which was kind of a random and this kind of almost feels the same. But um, it's, I believe it's kind of class as a derby. 73 rating overall, 46k for cost, 34k reward. One player just from either team, so Groningen for me, if they were to do an overall, I would probably just put a Groningen player in because um, Pat is 75 rating and you can get up for like 300, 350 coins and that would just kind of cover your highest overall rating and the rest you can practically probably build silvers. And I believe Palermo, I would say, is a possible route but I'm not 100% convinced with it. Um, I really dug down and it apparently is a derby to some extent which I didn't expect actually because it's like Naples but never mind. Um, in terms of this 11 players from the league you might be expected one player from either team or just the one player from say either Napoli or Palermo so but then Nations would be 6, cost would be 5 to 7, overall rating I'm going to say about of six, 76 overall minimum might make it a little bit higher because um, Napoli have quite a lot of cheap, decent rated players. Um, 4 to 5k for reward and I'm going to say 3 or 4 out of 10 for likelihood. I don't see this route happening. Too many strong routes. 
And the last route of the week is Borka Juniors versus River Plate. This route for me has already been featured and I don't think they will feature it again, so keep that in mind. But I've still got to feature it because this game is next week. So one player from either team or one player you will need to add in. So um, Borka, and now I've, in this instance I've actually got quite a few from um, both teams, so I'm well covered. And six players in minimum Argentina. I think last time they did it was like a max of like seven or eight players. Overall rating 73, 46k cost, 45k reward being like a jumbo gold pack. Because it's been before I'm going to say a 5 out of 10, but I feel all in all there's too many routes next week that could be given priority over this route. However though, that's a lot of healthy routes to cover you for this week. Let me know in the comments down below if there is any other games I've missed and I'll get the no risk video up later today. So if you find this useful remember to sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Legend and I will catch you all later.